Hello viewers, welcome back to episode 29 of Saving South End. Today is all or nothing in our promotion challenge. Two games of the season remaining, two home games against Salford and Northampton. Roll the intro and let's get straight into this. Since yesterday's disappointing defeat against Port Vale viewers, we followed that with a 2-0 away win at Bolton with Lennon and Balde scoring. And that leaves us second in the table, one point clear of third and fourth and, and five points behind Port Vale in first. Two games to go. Let's get straight into this Salford game. Here we are then viewers, the starting eleven is Archie Mayer in goal, both with Jackson on the left, Lennon and Bennett in the centre with Oyugoki on the right, to Shaka and Dieng in that midfield. With Mouthman on the left, Balde on the right, Ramsey in behind, Odebeka leading that line for us. As I said, it is all or nothing today. It's do or die time. We need to pick up the three points here. We are in poor position to go up. We're a point clear, so we just need to make sure that we can do our business and pick up those three points in both games. We wanted seven points from the last three games. I think we need nine. We got the three against Bolton offline. And I think now it is time to pick up six more points to finish this season on a high. Here we are then. Kickoff is underway here at Roots Hall. First how it does go to Salford. 50 seconds in. We're doing better than what we did against Port Vale yesterday already. We've not conceded in the first minute just yet. There we go. We've definitely not conceded in that first minute. Lennon out to Mouthrin on that left-hand side. Come on, get forward. He does. He's challenged a little bit too easy. Dieng picks it up. Out to ball there. Ooh, stings the keeper's hands. But it's disallowed. Oh... Malfrin with the rebound, it's disallowed, offside, Baldy stung the goalkeeper's hands there, I mean that is marginal, marginal goal, marginal, marginal goalkeeping, marginal, marginal call for the offside there, Ross with the goal kick for Salford, our former goalkeeper Ethan Ross who we did sell in the summer, he's kept us out once although he made a bit of a mistake there but thankfully the offside flag did give him a reprieve, Ramsey's in here on this right hand side, oh the Becker's there and it's in the back of the net again, but it's off. called for a free kick. And we're dropping down to third at the moment. And another Salford throw in here. Darcy, ball in to Wilson, but Mayer doesn't. Mayer gets there, sorry, ahead of Wilson and collects the ball easily. Eight minutes in. It's been, I mean, how have we had the ball in the back of the net twice and it remains nil-nil. Mouthering, looking to play Odebeko in and does. Picks it up on this left-hand side. Out to Borthwick Jackson. Ball in. Ramsey's there. There it is. Jacob Ramsey with his fourth goal of the season. That is the goal that we needed. Ten minutes in. Our third shot on target, or third time the ball's been over the line. And the first one that's counted. Jacob Ramsey with a lovely, lovely header there. Good ball in by Borthwick Jackson. So it's one, two touches. Ball in. Ramsey in between the two centre-backs. Game on. Come on, boys. Right, we're going to drop some praise because we're playing really, really well at the moment. What are those other scores looking like? As Leighton Orient are losing to 22nd place Yeovil Town, who are fighting for their league status, so they've got everything to play for. As I say that, and Leighton Orient have just scored, but Grimsby are drawing as well. And oh my word, does that make things tight up at the top again? We need to just carry on what we are doing. As Grimsby are they Grimsby are winning now, so they're going. We just need to carry on winning, viewers. That's all we can do as we've gone. <laughs> it's come to one all. Ashley Easton with his third goal of the season just two minutes before half time. They were too busy concentrating on the results and not looking at what we are doing. Surely we can't blow this now. I mean, what is Archie Mayer doing there? The ball's here. He's there going that way. Mm, Bennett, the ball in. Can he whip it to that near post? He does. An immediate reply. Harry Lennon with his sixth goal of the season. And there it is. What a reply that is. An instant reply just before our time. And we are back in front again. And we rise back up that table. Lennon there with a good header. Reese Bennett providing for his centre-back partner for his sixth goal of the season. That takes us back up to sixth, sixth position. Second position. I'm going to tell the boys that we're happy with that performance so far. And just see that sea of green around. I don't want to try and get onto the backs too much and put added pressure on them when they know what is at stake. Salford corner here. Oh, and it's off the line. James Wilson there. He's had his shot saved off the line. It's gone out for another Salford corner here. As Grimsby have gone 3-1 up. We need a second goal, a third goal here really to go two up. Ramsey are looking to break away. Can this be the goal? 
Surely that's got to be ball back for a free kick, and it is. Bennett into Sh to Shaka. Bennett now long ball over the top into Odebeko. Odebeko with a lovely neat chip. What a goal that is there, and he makes it 3-1. I cannot believe he's just scored that. Ethan Ross caught in no man's land, showing us why we were right to sell him. Long ball over the top from Bennett. I thought he, he was going to miss it there, but he didn't. Ross didn't commit to it for the worry. Thoroughly, and a lovely chip finish sees it go in the back of the net with a two-goal cushion here at home. Again, time for some praise on the boys. What is going on? Leighton Orin are winning now. Oyigoki into Ramsey. Ball in, and it's just headed away. Uh, Bothwick Jackson picks it up on the left. Ball in again. Ramsey, powerful effort for his second goal of the game, his fifth goal of the season, 4-1. It looks like we are home and hosed here and picking up those three points Great win to start the episode off if this stays like this. I'd love a couple of more goals just to help our goal difference. Both with Jackson with a lovely ball across. Ramsey there with a powerful half volley. And what a finish that is. Or left-footed volley, sorry. Rather than a half volley. Goal corner for Salford and it's headed away by Lennon. Powerfully goes back to Hunter on this right hand side. Ball in again. Oh, and it's a great save by Archie Mayer there. Who's tipped it over the bar, but James Wilson was offside. Things staying as they are, it is all to play for again in that final game. Just a point separating everyone. Mouth rim, ball in, and Bennett's hit the bar. He was offside anyway. We're going to make a couple of changes. We'll wait till this highlight's over. Mouth rim is looking tired. So we'll bring Nathaniel George on. And we'll bring Tashaka on, who is on a yellow. And we'll bring Ollie Turner on to the field. Make a double substitution. And then we'll run down the clock with just a few minutes to go. What a game of football this has been here, viewers. As things stand at the moment, there's three teams still vying for that final promotion place in the last game. But we go into it in pole position. We'll make the final change. We'll bring Semple on for Reese Bennett just to wind that clock down a little bit more. And there it is. I don't even know if Semple made it onto the pitch. He didn't. But a 4-1 home victory. What a win that is for the boys. Oh, 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 and does that not give us some confidence going to the final game of the season with three teams, us, Grimsby and Leighton Orion all vying for that final, those two final promotion plays, but our goal difference is five better, so things should be working in our favour, but we need to do our own business on the final day and win against bottom of the table, Northampton, who have just drawn with Walsall. Join me again in a minute and we will play the final game of the league season and could promotion be on the cards. Here we are then viewers, the final game of the season. We take on bottom of the table, Northampton. Groomsby have a home game against 17th placed Torquay and Leighton Orient are away from home at 11th placed Plymouth. Can we take advantage of that home crowd roaring us on to promotion against bottom of the table, Northampton? And the team for today is Archie Mayer in goal, back four of Borthwick Jackson, Lennon, Bennett and Oyugoki, Dieng and Oli Turner returning in the midfield, Malfrin on the left, Connor Stanley returning on the right, Balder is up top in place of Odebeko and Ramsey is in behind him. This is it then viewers, it's all or nothing here. We just have to make sure that we win. So tell the boys if we win today, we can win promotion. And we have got the faith in them to go out and make that difference for us. I'm really, really nervous here, viewers. Kickoff is underway. We'll keep our eyes on the Grimsby game as Walsall have taken an early league against, lead against Harrogate here. And Plymouth have taken an early lead against Leighton Orient, which drops them down into fourth place and out of the automatic promotion race. Stanley, long ball down the middle, but it's headed it's headed back. It's clear back up to us here. Turner, though, brings it forward. Come on, Turner. Northampton have nothing to play for but pride. Can we take full advantage of that? Malfrin on the left. Into Holly Turner. Oh, and it's gone past the post. Oh, it's gone past the post. As other games are still going in our favour, we are going to demand a little bit more. I think it's been an, a nervy 25 opening minutes here. As Grimsby remain nil-nil, good challenge there by Oli Turner. Both with Jackson into Dieng now. Come on, Dieng, into Bennett. Dieng has been here since the start, along with Nathaniel George. Balder, come on, brings it forward. Balder is here. Balder one-on-one with the goalkeeper and Gherkin in the Northampton net makes the save. Ramsey, ball in there. Into, oh, and it's cleared off the line. It was cleared off the line by Northampton. 
Dieng in the middle now. Lennon, who has also been here from the start, from Borthwick Jackson, into Dieng again. Bennett out to Lennon now. All the way back to Archie May in the south end goal. Come on, Lennon into Borthwick Jackson. Long, long highlight this. Can we make advantage of it? Malthrin cutting inside into the middle, coming out of the centre circle. Flip, switch it to right. He's had a go and it's... It's a tame effort straight into Gherkin's hands as Grimsby are drawing nil nil. Leighton Orient remain oh, are now two nil down. Leighton Orient have a mountain to climb and there's been an injury for Grimsby Town as well. Does that have an impact on them as it remains nil nil here at half time? Tell the boys we aren't happy with that performance because we're not really we've not done a lot to sort of make an impact on the game. I do think the boys are very very nervy here. And that because they know what's at stake. Borthwick Jackson throw it into Ramsey. On the byline, it's cleared away by Northampton. Oyegoki picks it up. Dieng now. Out to Oyegoki on this right-hand side. And he's challenged a little bit too easy there. But he picks it back up. As free as tripped up for Northampton. But it's cleared away again. Lennon into Turner. Come on, boys. Out to Oyegoki on the right again. Challenged. He's still got the ball on. <coughs> he's had an effort oh, that's gone high, wide and not at all handsome. Oh, come on, boys. 51 minutes to go. And here we are. So, so close to that promotion. Half an hour of this game remains. Can we secure a goal here to make sure, make it comfortable as Grimsby go up into second as they look like they have scored? Surely we, we just need a goal. That is what we need. Turner. Stanley, and there's the goal that we needed. Connor Stanley with his seventh goal of the season on the 74th minute makes it 1 0 to South End against Northampton, and that takes us back up to second in the table. And it looks like we are going up to League One at the third in the third season. We missed out on the playoffs last season, and we've had such a strong year this year. Turner with a good ball in, and Stanley is just on side there, timed his run well, and a good header pass Gherkin in the Northampton net. As it remains, it's 2-0 to Grimsby now and it is 3-0 to Plymouth. So I think Leighton Orient have got too much to do in the final five minutes. And we are going up to second in the table and finishing runners up of League Two. And it looks like promotion is there. And there it is. We are promoted to League One viewers. It's taken us three seasons, but we have done it. We have built a formidable team here this season. And what a way to have done it. We've done that absolutely fantastic performance in these well it, over the course of the season and that is why we have finished second and there is the confirmation viewers that we have smashed the total points record for south end here by five points it was 85 we finished on 90 finished second after 46 games and a promotion that is thoroughly thoroughly deserved we are going up with port vale and grimsby and then either one of leighton orient swindon walsall or accrington what a season we have had here I am a little bit disappointed not to have won the title because we were in pole position for a while. But second finish is an unbelievable season here. And we have got so much to look forward to going into League One. We'll leave it there for today, viewers. And what a way to end that episode. What a way to end the season with promotion to League One. If you have enjoyed that video, viewers, please don't forget to smash that like button for me. Share the video around. Subscribe to the channel for more content. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you again for more in League One.